Hello everyone, it's Andrew Shotanizi and today I will show you how to implement the transition from IDO to Amin. First open the blend space and set the IDO animation as a zero point value of the blend space. Then open the animation blueprint and add a layered blend per bone node. Open the skeletal mesh to find the bone that we need to blend poses. I think the spine too will be well for our intents. Go back to the animation blueprint and select the layered blend per bone node. Add a branch filter in layer setup and set the bone name to spine 2. We will blend two animations. The first is the animation of the legs. And second will be the torso and arm animation. For the arm animation create a state machine with rifle animations. Open the state machine. The first state will be default. And the animation pose of this state will be a copy of the movement. The next note in the state machine is aiming. With the rifle aiming animation as the pose. Connect the entry with default and make a transition for default to aiming and from aiming to default. Then create a variable is aiming. To set the transition condition, click twice on icon near the transition arrow. We will change animation when aiming is turned on to aiming. And we will change from aiming to default when it's turned off. Now we need to connect the animation blueprint and character. Next create an interface BPI character anim. Open the interface and add function toggle aiming. With the boolean input parameter is aiming. Then open the animation blueprint and class settings and add the new interface to implement the interfaces. Implement this method as an event and change the is aiming value. Now we have to add an input action IA aim. And add it to the input mapping context with the right button as a controller. Then open the character blueprint. In the begin play event, use get a name instance of character mesh.
and save the result to variable animation. Then open the combat event graph and implement IA aim. When the event starts, we will send to the animation blueprint that aiming is enabled. And when the event is completed, then that aiming is disabled. Now switching to aiming is working. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.